بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو ٹاپک امیونالوجی اسٹارٹنگ آف ود دا ڈیفینیشن آف امیونٹی وٹ از امیونٹی امیونٹی از دا بیلنس اسٹیٹ آف این آرگنزم ہیونگ ایڈیکیٹ بایولوجیکل ڈیفینسز ٹو فائٹ اگینسٹ ویریس انفیکشنس اینڈ ڈیزیزز سو دس از دا ڈیفینیشن آف امیونٹی کین بی آسکڈ ان Uh, SCQs you know, define immunity so you can write this definition what are the functions of immunity why our body system it uses the immune responses or immune system the answer is there are two important functions of immunity number one is it prevents the infection it gives protection against various infection and number second is if we ever get an infection it will limit the spread of that infection it will limit the fungal infection the parasitic infection or the bacterial infection so these are the two important functions of immunity initially it will help in the prevention of infection and if god forbids if a person he or she carries some infection it will limit the spread of that infection so these are the two functions of immunity defense lines of the human body if we talk about the defense lines of the human body there are three important defense lines first line of defense second line of defense and third line of defense if we talk about the first line of defense uh, this first line of defense usually includes the intact mucous membranes the intact skin the intact mucous membrane and the intact skin surface it gives protection against the various microorganism so if the microorganism it is successful in breaching the first line of defense then comes the role of the second line of the defense and that second line of the defense is the inborn immunity the innate immunity which is also called as innate immunity this is the second line of the defense if the second line of defense it fails to provide immunity it fails to limit the spread of infection then comes the role of third line of the defense and this is called as acquired immunity or adaptive immunity this acquired or adaptive immunity it is acquired or it is adaptive in nature it is acquired with the passage of time the body learns to acquire to some specific infection or specific microorganism and it happens with the passage of time so first line of defense that includes the skin and mucous membranes the intact skin and mucous membrane second line of defense it includes the innate arm of the immunity or inborn immunity and the third line of defense it includes the adaptive immunity or acquired immunity <clears throat> so these are the two types the two important types of the immunity inborn or innate immunity and acquired immunity acquired immunity it has further two types one is a cell mediated immunity and second one is the antibody mediated immunity we will study these detail uh, these in detail the cell mediated and antibody mediated immunity in the coming lectures <clears throat> so innate immunity innate immunity uh, as i already pointed out that this is the inborn immunity if the microorganism it becomes successful in breaching the first line of defense then comes the action of this innate immunity so this is the second line of defense innate immunity it comprises of some preformed components which are fully active when the organism or the microorganism it gains entry into the human body when the microorganism it gains entry the innate arm of the immunity it becomes fully active and it is highly non specific it does not differentiate that whether it is a bacteria or whether it is a virus or something else like fungi or parasite in the term of immunity it immediately starts performing its function for example a neutrophil it can digest may and destroy many different kinds of bacteria it will not differentiate that whether this is staphylococcus aureus or whether this is neisseria meningitis it will immediately start performing its action and start destroying the bacteria so this is the reason it is highly non specific so these are the important points which you you should note about the innate immunity in the next slide we will discuss the few important points of the adaptive immunity or acquired immunity and then uh, you people will be able to draw the differences between the two forms of the immunity 
adaptive immunity adaptive immunity it is high it gives highly specific protection against the various microorganism and it gives this third line of protection against the various infections in the microorganism it is highly specific third line of defense but why it has one drawback it requires few days to become fully functional as uh, as we compare it with the innate arm of the immunity that is functional immediately when the organism gains entry into the human body while adaptive immunity it requires few days to become functional so this is an important difference from the uh, innate immunity so you can see on your slides that there are two more important differences that are written here uh, one is improves after exposure and second is the you know, that it has memory so adaptive immunity it gradually expo it gradually improves after the uh, repeated exposure of the same microorganism and that uh, improvement after exposure it is due to various memory cells and those memory cells they include memory b cells and the memory t cell so again this is a difference from the innate immunity innate immunity it does not improve after exp exposure and it does not have any kind of memory so if we talk about important differences between the adaptive immunity and innate immunity adaptive is the second line of defense uh, sorry adaptive is the third line of defense while innate that is the second line of defense adaptive is highly specific and innate immunity is non specific adaptive requires few days to become functional while innate immunity is functional when the microorganism gains entry to the human body adaptive immunity improves after ex ex repeated exposure of the same microorganism while the, there is no such improvement in the case of innate immunity adaptive immunity it has memory that's why it improves after exposure and that memory is due to memory t cells and memory b cells while there is no participation of any kind of memory cells in the case of innate immunity so these are the few important differences of adaptive immunity and acquired immunity these are important they are usually asked these are the important type of the lymphocytes or the cells uh, immune cells which take part in the various immune reactions the major types they are the t lymphocytes and the b lymphocytes T lymphocytes they are further divided into helper T cells, memory T cells, and cytotoxic T cells. And B lymphocytes they comprises of plasma cells and plasma cells they ultimately give rise to the antibodies. So what are the function of these antibodies or plasma cells? These are the four important functions: neutralization of various toxins, opsonization uh, they participate in various hypersensitivity reaction, and uh, they uh, participate in various autoimmune diseases so these are the important functions of these antibodies so till now uh, we have studied the various important thing the definition of immunity the types of immunity innate and acquired differences between these two types of immunities and the functions of the antibodies so these uh, have been discussed to some extent uh, in today's lecture so the same points about innate immunity that it is present prior to the exposure and becomes fully active once the microorganism gains entry it is highly non specific and does not improve after the exposure one important point to note here is that innate immunity it alone it is not sufficient for the survival of the micro uh, for the survival of the human so for the survival of a person for the survival of the human along with innate immunity adaptive immunity that is mandatory that is required alone if there is only innate immunity the person will not survive adaptive immunity is a must these are the the two major functions of innate immunity that they kill the foreign microorganism or the foreign invaders and they activate the adaptive immune response one very important thing to note here is the some components of the innate immunity for example if we talk about the neutrophils they kill the cells only while other components for example if the if we consider the macrophages they kill the cells and they also activate the immune responses 
by presenting the antigens to the various cells so these are the two important functions uh, killing of the microorganisms that is done done by neutrophils and other cells like macrophages and activating the adaptive immune response that is done by very important type of the cell for example macrophage which perform both of these function which perform the killing of the mic uh, microorganism and which also activate the adaptive immune responses uh, by prevent uh, by presenting the antigen to the t cells so these are the two major functions of the innate immunity initially we studied the functions of antibodies the, those were four in number and now these are the major functions of the innate immunity <clears throat> how are innate immunity it recognizes some microorganism as foreign the question is that it recognize detects certain carbohydrates or lipids which are present on the surface of the microorganism and they differ from those on the human cells there may be some different sequence of the carbohydrates and lipids on the surface of the human cells and the there may be some different sequence of these carbohydrates and lipids on the microorganism or on the bacteria or other uh, microbe so innate arm it recognize those differences two important points to note here is that how the body cells or the immune cells that is able to recognize uh, these microorganism or these foreigners there are certain receptors which are present on the immune cells which are present uh, on the components of the innate immunity and those receptors they are called as pattern recognition receptors these pattern recognition receptors they detect certain molecular patterns which are present on the surface of numerous microbes and those molecular patterns they are not present on the human cells and these molecular patterns they are called as pathogen associated molecular patterns or pamp p a m p so two important things arise here pattern recognition receptors these are the components or part of immune system or part of innate immune system that are present on the immune cells and these receptors they recognize few molecular patterns called pathogen associated molecular patterns which are present on the surface of numerous microorganism or numerous microbes or bacteria these molecular patterns they are not seen on the surface of the human cells so please clear yourself the receptors or pattern recognition receptors they are present on the immune immune cells or immune system while the molecular patterns they are present on the surface of microorganism so this was the scenario how the innate arm of immunity it recognizes some foreign microorganism or foreign antigen